What's going on guys? Just want to do a quick unboxing of a new camera I just picked up. At the time of this video, we have this whole coronavirus thing going on. Um, so a lot of stuff isn't being shipped over from China. Uh, I picked up this camera off of Amazon. It is the OMD EM1 Mark III, the Olympus. I bought it as a kit. Um, but yeah, with that whole stuff with the virus going around, not really sure how many of these are going to go out. So I picked one up. When the time I bought it, I saw there was like maybe 9 or 10 available. So I'm not really sure if they're going to be restocking those anytime soon. But let's go ahead and unbox it and see what we got with the new camera. So, I said I did do the kit. So I got it with the... Olympus 12 to 100 f4 lens image stabilized so it comes nice and packaged it's got two separate boxes one's gonna be the camera and one's gonna be the lens let's open up the camera real quick take a look so on top you have the booklet gonna have the manual all that stuff it has got a ton of features so probably gonna have to look through that just to be able to try everything out let's get the body out this whole thing comes packaged really really nicely so here's the body super nice has a nice grip on it. Similar to the camera I'm filming this on right now, I'm filming on a G9. And I also have a Canon EOS R. I like the cameras I have that give you a nice grip. This, this grip is probably not as deep as the as the Canon or the the Lumix, but it still feels really, really nice in the hand. Super clean. Let's see what else we got in here. This is going to be charging stuff probably. Comes with charger. Battery. And then we have a few cables in here. This is the... This is the cable that plugs into the charger. It is like a proprietary type of charger into there. I wish it was kind of just like a micro USB or USB type C so I can pretty much just use any cable to plug in there, but the camera does charge in body with that. So that's okay, I guess. What else we got in here? Let's see, this is the type C that you can use to to, to charge straight into the camera body with the battery already in it. And then also comes with a strap, but most people don't even use the straps. I have like a peak design strap. Not really sure what this piece is for. Maybe it's a strap for the strap. I don't know. We'll throw all that back in there. Let's take a look at the lens. Nice packaging from Olympus. Everything is super clean. Open up the lens box. On top is this is like a carrying pouch. I don't think anybody really uses these things, but it's just so that you can store your lens in it. If you don't have it like in a bag or something like that. So we'll keep that on the side. Go ahead and open the actual lens. Two pieces. This is going to be the lens hood. Plastic, but nice. There's also a booklet on the lens. Toss that. What do we need a booklet for the lens for? And get to the actual lens.
nice quality feels nice metal feels good in the hand again we got the focus I gotta hold it further just trying to go on my hand no there we go got the 12 to 100 it's an f4 throughout um, but from what everything I've heard and seen, I've even had a buddy that had the lens. It's supposed to be super sharp, even from f4 to 5.6. I think even all the way up to like 8, this lens is super, super sharp. So these lenses do have like a manual clutch. And that gets you into manual focus. That feels super nice. The body is metal. Let's go ahead and put it on to the camera and see how that feels. So now we got it on the body. It feels really nice. It's actually really balanced. It actually feels really good in your hand. It is an external zoom. We got a flip screen on it. Should always have a flip screen. The Olympus. Badging everywhere. But yeah, I'll do a review a little bit more into like the actual camera, all the features. I'm actually gonna compare it to my Canon that I have. I have them I also have an EOS R. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably going to get rid of it and replace it with this and just the G9. So the G9 will be like my filming and backup body and then this will be my stills camera. Um, for basically I do landscape and we'll maybe start getting into some wildlife and stuff like that but yeah. So. If you want, like, subscribe. I'm going to do a comparison between full frame, basically, and micro four thirds. And from what I've seen with the Lumix compared to the Canon, there's not really much of a difference. You're just, you're getting a lot more weight savings and size and everything, you know, with micro four thirds. Yeah, maybe you can't shoot at midnight with the micro four thirds. It's going to come out super noisy, but I'd never do that anyway. Most people are doing landscapes or shooting, you know, sunrise sunset or even midday when it's kind of just you know not too bright out you know but yeah so here's the new camera hopefully we can get some new good pics and we'll see how it works out thanks guys